Good afternoon, YouTube. So we're back with another video. Um, the last video that you guys saw was another full day of eating. I know you guys like those, so uh, I did one of those. I know it's kind of a, you know, kind of a stiff because um, I ended up having a cheat meal instead of my last normal two meals. But if you guys have seen my first um, full day of eating video, it's honestly pretty much the same. I eat a lot of the same foods um, throughout the year. So um, there was a little bit of a chest workout in that clip, but I want to have another chest workout today uh, just because we're going to um, go through some new exercises that I've been doing um, to try and build up that chest. So um, we're going to go run you guys through a full workout today. Uh, it's going to be a banger. So we have five exercises total, um, pretty much three to four exercise or three to four sets on every exercise. Um, and like I said, I'm going to show you guys some rep ranges that I'm doing and some stuff that I'm going to do in the off season to try and grow that chest for next season. So it is currently September 29th, about to roll into October. I don't start a competition prep until probably around like March, April, who knows. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to focus on growing and making sure that we can bring a much more complete package to the stage. So um, today's workout is going to be, you know, solely responsible for that. And um, we're gonna get into it and uh, get after it. So I'll see you guys at the first exercise. All right guys, so first exercise that we got going on is gonna be a wide grip chest press. So I love warming up with this guy. Uh, and what I've been starting to do with my chest training lately is instead of just kind of having some blind warm up sets of like, you know, 10, 15, whatever, I pick my same warm up weight that I would use, but I'm just going with more volume. So this first set that we're gonna do, we're gonna have one plate, we're gonna hit 30 reps. So um, sometimes with my warm up sets, I was getting a little sloppy. I'm um, just kind of like trying to get through it. Um, so now I have a little more intent behind what I'm doing. So the first set, we're gonna hit 30 reps. Second set, we're gonna hit 20, increase weight a little bit. And then we're gonna have two working sets of 15. So four sets total, um, but that way you're a little bit more focused and a little bit more engaged in what you're doing. You're just trying to get through uh, your warm up sets and going to a heavy weight. So like I said, we're gonna hit one plate here for 30, and then we're gonna increase the weight. So let's get to it. All right guys, so second set here, we're about to work into another one before we go into our top sets. Um, like I said, we're increasing weight slowly over time. Um, the first set of 30 is still hard. We're just going a little bit lesser on the weight, or um, yeah, a little bit lesser on the load, a little bit more reps. But at the same time, we're really focusing on getting a good contraction, pushing blood to the muscle before working our way up to a heavier weight. So now we increase weight a little bit, we're gonna hit sub 20, and then we're gonna go into a top set of about 10 to 12. Uh, so we got two top sets, and then um, we're gonna go into our first fly. Wow. Woo. All right, so, huh? eh, we back. <laughs> Set of 20 was pretty hard. Um, one thing that you guys, guys may notice when it comes to my training um, in off season compared to prep two is the volume goes way down. So like I said, it's only five exercises. Um, if you guys followed my workouts during prep, there's a lot more supersets, a lot more um, actual total exercises involved in uh, my training sessions. Um, so today, instead of like a full push day, like I normally do on prep, you know, throw some shoulders and triceps in there. I'm really just focusing on kind of one muscle group at a time, more of a bro um, breakdown. Um, just to focus on recovery. So the more weight you're pushing, like the more um, of a strain that'll take on your body. So we're just hitting this guy um, for four rounds and then we're gonna move on to our next exercise just to get in, get out, um, and focus on growing. So gonna add some weight and we got two more. All right, so second exercise that we're gonna be working with is gonna be a cable crossover fly. One cool thing that we picked up for the gym are these prime attachments. So these things are awesome because you can kind of dictate how you want your wrist path to be throughout the exercise. For me, I just like having my wrist be stagnant, but I like having my wrist come together whenever you're doing a fly. So 
give that a try. Your next chest workout, try and have the wrists come together versus having your knuckles come together. Have the wrist touch. You should feel a little bit more of a squeeze throughout the chest. Um, but we're gonna hit three sets here. We're gonna hit 15 set, uh, reps per set. So the weight's not crazy. And also, if you look here, we have the cable set up to where we're hitting the middle of the chest. So. What I want y'all to think about whenever you're doing a cable fly next is if you want to hit that upper chest, have the cables up high and they about coming down. And then if you want to work that kind of lower end of the chest, I want you to have the cables down low and they about coming up and together. So we're working that middle of the chest, focusing on the middle as well as the outer part of the chest, everything in the middle. So we just have the cables set up in the middle. So we're gonna hit three sets of 15. Um, pay attention to my wrists again through the clips and then uh, yeah so we're gonna hit 3 sets 15 and see how we do see how we feel Okay, so next movement that we're gonna move on to is gonna be a machine chest press. Um, we're using a Techno Gym one, y'all have seen it in some other videos. I like this one a lot because you can go flat hand like a regular bench press, or you can go neutral grip and hit the middle of the chest. Uh, we just hit the middle of the chest with the angle on the fly. So we're gonna move on to a flat um, pronated grip on the press. So um, like I said earlier, we're cutting down the volume. So I like having a lot more reps in my actual working sets. So we're gonna work up to three working sets of 18. Um, um, just because 15 can kind of be eh, but 20 can kind of be a little too much. So we're gonna kind of go in the between, hit 18 reps here, um, and just focus on the squeeze. More than anything, we're pushing weight, yes, but we're really focused on getting a good contraction. And kind of like what we talked about earlier, pushing away from the weight, not just pushing weight ahead of you. So work with the weight and let the weight come back to you. Use that negative, use that stretch, and push through that. So I promise you'll feel a better contraction next time. Um, so we're gonna jump in here, and then we're gonna go back to a fly, and then hit another press down. All right, so let's get it. All right, that one was a little easy, so. Like everything, if you can hit all 18, we're doing 18 reps, if you can hit all 18 without you know struggling on the last three or four, up the way and do it again. So we're still gonna count that as a working set, but I think we can go you know up maybe 10 or 20 pounds. So we're gonna hit that for the next two sets. All right, so next exercise that we're moving on to is gonna be a pec deck fly. So a little bit of a twist on this one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit one and a half reps per set, okay? So um, basically what that means is, we're gonna come here, let me check the weight then put the weight on first. Um, so I have the seat all the way to the bottom. I want the elbows turned upwards. We're gonna focus on the top of the chest. So what we're gonna do is normally you're just here, come out, have a stretch, and then come out. So what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna come here, elbows up high, come together, squeeze. We're gonna come back halfway, squeeze, and then come back out, okay? So that's one rep. So what that's gonna work on is gonna be the contraction as well as the middle of the chest, as well as just overall time under tension. So um, all that being said, should be a good squeeze, should be a crazy pump, but you might have to go down the way just a little bit. So here to here, and the one and a half rep is one. We're gonna hit 10 of those total. So let's get into it, get a good squeeze, finish the workout strong. Pump is crazy on those. Like I said, don't do too much weight because you will fill up the shoulders once you start to get a little tired. Um, but give those a try, man. They are money. So we're gonna hit two more there and then we're gonna burn out on a press. And that's it for today. All right, so last exercise, probably gonna be our hardest exercise that we do total. So um, we have 135 on the bar. We're gonna do an incline barbell press. Um, we're gonna hit sets of 20, three rounds of 20. But what we're gonna focus on is just a squeeze. So especially with bench pressing, a lot of times you kind of use that ego and because you want to push weight, right? Um, but what we're going to do is just focus on the contraction. So this weight's pretty easy um, for me. Like I can set, hit a set of 20 pretty easily on there, but we're just going to focus on really squeezing that chest 
fire out every last piece of energy that we have in there. Um, and on that last set, if you can hit more than 20, hit more than 20. Don't leave anything in the table. No reps left in the tank. So um, I'm thinking I should hit kind of like a failure point around 20 good ones um, with a good squeeze, good contraction. So we're going to hit that, and then that's it for today. Okay, workout is a wrap for today. So like I said, overall volume's going down, which uh, is really just to accelerate recovery, make sure that we're recovering, able to have more productive sessions. Um, so only five exercises, just chest. Um, I'm about to go and hit a little bit of cardio. I'm still doing cardio, guys. So I'm um, still doing about 20 minutes a day, and I'm still making sure I get at least, you know, six to 8,000 steps in, not including my cardio, just to make sure I'm overall active not getting too fat this off season. So, um, like I said, it's September 30th. So today is Wednesday. Saturday, I have clients doing the John Sherman Classic, which is uh, could be a great show. I have nine athletes competing. Um, so it should be a overall really, really good show. I have some people that I'm really excited for. Um, first time competitors. Some people I'm hoping, you know, kind of hit that next level, qualify for nationals next year. Um, regardless, it should be a really good show, so make sure you guys are following both my team page, at team underscore David Short Fitness, as well as my personal page, at David Short Fitness on Instagram. I will link the two here. Follow those if you guys wanna see transformations or just have any content um, that I provide throughout the day. So, um, again, that's it for the workout. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me know what you guys wanna see in these videos as well. All of your feedback is appreciated as always. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.